Hi, YouTubers. It is me, Colette. I am here again. Yes, y'all are going to be tired of seeing me, but it is what it is. I'm on a roll for 2015. <sighs> Not really on a roll per se, but there are so many good things that are coming out. And I'm telling you, these drugstores slash makeup manufacturers are just doing the thing, man. They're just doing their thing. And I'm finding stuff that I've been wanting to get and never got. And I can't, you know, not get them. Um, some are, I, I think, are, I don't know if any are going to be limited edition or they're just going to be like, say they're permanent, but then after a while they take them away. But here's what happened. My friend turned me on to this blog, um, and this blog is the business. What I do with mine is not a blog, okay? This blog is the business. So anyway, I found out about certain palettes being at Walmart and is exclusive to Walmart. So I took myself on down to Walmart and I did some damage. So I'm going to show you the Walmart haul. But first, quick thing, the eyes. The eye makeup today is courtesy of the Reveal 2 palette. I don't like this. I'll come back and do a review, but it's not my favorite palette, and I won't be buying any more. That being said, let's move along. I have a blue liner on the inside, and then a brown Jordana liner on the here, and that is that. Mascara, black gel liner on top. But that's it. But the entire eye look was done from this revealed palette, okay? And I guess most of you know what it is. And I'm just not... This is my favorite color right here in the palette. But it's not my favorite. I won't be buying any more of these palettes. Okay. So, uh, my blush is a blend of different things. But the highlighter you're looking at, that is Summer Opal from the Baba One collection. My lipstick, in case you're curious, is Lavender Jade. And that is also from the Baba One collection. And that's that. I paired the liner with Max um, Nightingale pencil. And this is what Nightingale looks like. So if you have Nightingale pencil, that is what I use today. But I think I want to get plum liner because it looks great with plum liner. I saw one of the MAC ladies in the store use plum liner with it and it looks beautiful. Anyway, we're three minutes in. Let's go. I stopped at a dollar store because I'm looking for those Maybelline slash Milani um, nail polishes that they had on clearance and in the dollar store. And the only one I found was Dotty. And it's this one. And as you guys can see, I have um, pretty nails going on. But this hand is already chipped. And excuse the bag, I just got in from Walmart. So I'm just going to dive right into the bag. So excuse the noises, okay? <clears throat> excuse me. My daughter picked up three e.l.f. brushes. These are for her. She has an 88 palette that she's going to be playing with. And she picked up three, these three brushes on her own. So kudos to my baby girl. Those are hers. I have been hearing about this bronzer from uh, CoverGirl Queen Line forever and a day. And I just saw it in my Walmart tonight. And this one says light bronze. This don't look like a light bronze, but... I'm going to try it for contouring on some days. It says great contour without the shine because I can't do the shiny stuff. So that is one item. I have also been searching for the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup in a shade that would match me. I finally found my shade in Neutrogena, which is tan, number 120. And this is it. I like Neutrogena's foundations. So this and I are going to have fun. <clears throat> I also found smudge pots, two of these smudge pots from Islip's Face. I've heard good things about these smudge pots, that they're like similar to paint pots, 
Walmart only had two colors. This is cruising chic or chic. Maybe it's chic because it's separated, whatever. But anyway, this is cruising chic. And this one is brownie points. And brownie points look very lovely. So I got those. I also noticed that Walmart seemed to have some new brushes on the racks. These have some funky looking um, colors and handles. You can see the handle shapes there. And I just wanted to test them out. They had a pack that was $11 and change, but this just says essential tools. And this is a three pack. And of course, this one is a blush brush. And this one is a uh, smooth coverage blush. It just says complexion one smooth coverage. So I'm guessing it's like an all over face brush thingy. So I wanna test those out. And of course, if you're a brush fanatic, you're gonna definitely go for those. I finally found the clean the Rimmel Clean Finish Matte Foundation. I tried the Clean Finish Foundation previously and I liked it. The only thing, it was a little bit too oily for me, um, my complexion, so they made a matte version. This is the last shade. It is called Natural Beige. And of course, I swatched it on my arm in the store. It's Walmart. I don't normally do that stuff, but I did it tonight because I didn't want to walk away with the wrong shade. But anyhow, um, yes, this co um, color, I'm excited to try this because I had really liked the first one that I got and I used it some, but I had to let it go. It has a spatula as an applicator inside and it is a very thick foundation. As you see, ain't nothing coming out. See, you can see all the way up in its innards. <laughs> So you're just going to scoop out a little bit like that and you are good to go. Okay, stop playing in the makeup. Okay, I also found from e.l.f. Cosmetics, I love their cream eyeliner. So they have teal tees and if it's blue or green, Colette is going to get it. So I picked up teal tees and of course we know these are like $3 or something like that. So I'm, I'm going to love using that. The black, if you like a, a nice black gel liner, get the one from Isop's Face. It is awesome sauce, really good. Stays on the waterline nicely and is a nice black. Okay, I've been liking these L'Oreal Infallible, what's this called? Silk, Silk, Silk Me or Silk Me? Whatever. This, whatever that is. I didn't check for the proper pronunciation, but yeah, y'all know me. Sometimes I just bug out on you, but this is the black one. I have three colors that I'm enjoying, so I thought why not give the black one a go? And it's cheaper in Walmart. I also picked up these first acetone power gel. It says no rub, removes polish, no rubbing, glitter, and nail art. I picked this one up. And then it has for stubborn dark polish. There are two different ones. And I picked up one of each. And I'm going to try the pink bottle one as we get done to see if it really does work on my nails. Actually, what the hell? Am I supposed to stick my finger in it? This is what it looks like. It's just a gel. So I'm, I'm going to read the stuff and see. Ah, they say it's supposed to put your finger in it. Okay, hold up a second. Just hold up a second. Hold up. We're going to play with it in just a minute. All right. So um, L'Oreal came out with two beautiful nude palettes. And these are pretty. Man, if they came out with these before they had naked palettes, I wouldn't have bought those darn naked palettes for the price I pay for these. Shoo. Could have bought 10 of these bad boys. But here they are. This is La Palette Nude 1 on top and Nude 2 on the bottom, 1 and 2. Um, they're not opened. Uh, on the back, it gives you like Nude Ombre, Sultry Angel, uh, Feline Fancy. So it give, it's giving you basically eye looks on the bottom up here. These are your shade ranges. And oh, mama. Ooh la la, 
So, oh, it comes with a brush. It has a little brush here and a spoolie sponge on the other side. And those are the colors in the palette. And I didn't realize that someone popped my palette open. And I took this one from the back, you guys. But I don't see finger marks in it, so that's a good thing. Um, evidently, they're very quite easy to pop your finger in. This one also comes with a brush slash spoolie. And this one is the Nude 2. And these are the colors in the Nude 2 palette. I'm not going to do swatches. If you'd like swatches, let me know. And of course, I'll do first impressions. Then I got the Maybelline Blushed Nudes. And this, guys, is exclusive to Walmart, just as I heard the brights are exclusive to Target. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much the size of the blush nudes. And it is nice and neat, very travel friendly. And as you can see, it is smaller and lighter in size than the Mabel than the um, L'Oreal one. Okay, there you go. So I'm excited to kind of play with this. And that is it. So give me one moment. We're going to do a little testing right here. Okay, guys. So these are swatches from, <coughs> sorry, the Nude 1 palette, the Nude 2 palette. These things are like smooth and buttery. Oh, my goodness. Do you see my hand? And then... As if that weren't enough, I grabbed the Nude 1 palette, and these are, this is like so awkward, but, oh my gosh, you can see the colors that I've swatched inside my arm like that, there they go, they are smooth, they are creamy, they're not skipping or dragging on my arm when I swatched them, and I also, down here, I tested the nude um, nudes from Maybelline. So these will be these, some of these colors down here, and up here you have some of the other ones. And OMG, this is not officially my swatch review or anything. It's just to show you that I was playing in the palette just when I went off camera quickly. Now, what I wanted to demo real real quick is the power gel thing the instructions are on the back it says to dip finger in the gel so i'm gonna dip one of my fingers in here and it says pull out do not rub it says let it sit it says close the gel thing let it sit on your finger for four minutes so i'm going to stop the camera for four minutes and then come back Okay guys, so while the time is going, I have to come back in here and talk. It feels like when you rub icy hot on your body and you feel it soaking in, I can actually feel it penetrating my nail. I have it right here, it's on the nail, there it is. You can see it and you can see the nail was polish was chipping already. It feels rather weird. And they say don't rub then they say after four minutes to use a paper towel place it over the nail wipe off and then you're supposed to wash your hands I don't know if this is safe because I think I can feel this cooling icy sensation all the way it's like penetrated my nail I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing but um, yeah I can basically see it you know breaking down the polish so I'm gonna I don't think I can bear this any longer because it's it feels weird it's a weird sensation for me I'm gonna do the four minutes okay I'm gonna wait just a little longer watch the gel is 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 sticking to the paper towel towel yeah see it's it's tacky now so it's kind of sticking to so I'm going to place the paper towel over my nail, just like they say, 
and I'm not going to rub. They say don't rub. They say just place it on over there and pull off. Imagine that. I'm going to pull again. This sucker felt weird. It is sticky. It is sticky. It is a sticky sensation and my nail feel absolutely cold. It feels like you if you feel this, it felt like someone was freezing my finger. That's pretty much how it feels right now, guys. It did take this the um, glitter nail polish off, but it feels like my finger was being cramped. It was feel it was being frozen. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it is clean. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing if it's safe. But yeah, I'm trying to warm my, my finger now. So if you have very sensitive hands like I do, um, you don't you want to make sure you time this and don't go over time with it because I can see this um, probably uh, someone probably freaking out like what's going on here. So yeah, but it, it did clean the nail off very well there. It did, it did clean it very good, um, even in the cuticle area. It, it cleaned it really nicely. So, that's good. That's a no fuss, no must thing. But like I say, I, I don't like the sensation of my finger being frozen. <laughs> but you got to give something to get something, right? So, hmm. But that's it. That's one clean nail. So that's a quick demo. Yeah, it feels cold. My finger still feels cold, actually. So I'm going to remove the rest of them in the same fashion, and I let you, it actually looks bright, like I got blood under there. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, I'm gonna um, play with it some more. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And oh, I did take these out of the packages. And the brushes feel soft. So far they feel durable. Can't speak for the brush head yet. But so far it feels durable. This one is a shader brush. And for how this one feels, I'll probably get another one just to get the shader brush. Because they didn't have single shader brush. This is a liner brush. Probably won't really do me much good because it's kind of weird. It's like looking like a dud. This one feels like a nice soft um, blusher brush. This one is a blush brush. You can see it has a fanned out shape. It's kind of misshapen, isn't it? It is misshapen, this bugger. But it feels sturdy. There is no shedding. Um, I'm priming and pulling and I'm not getting any hairs coming out, which is a good thing. And here's like that little buffer brush the little complexion brush they called it um, yeah they had all sorts of brushes and I like the flat yeah it says smooth coverage it has a name here but it, it does feel nice I can see yeah I can see me applying powder with that just like so so yeah um, hmm imagine that it's really nice it has a light a slightly reddish hair on, on the tip up there, slightly hair is slightly red. This one gives a little bit of shedding. So I'm gonna prime and pull it first and see. And after they're washed, I'll let you guys definitely know my thoughts. All right, take care guys and thank you for watching. I love each and every one of you and thank you for your time and thank you for watching my videos. Mwah.